Greetings to everyone joining me. I want to share with you today an issue that weighs on me more and more as time goes by. At this moment, we find ourselves at an historic crossroads that speaks to the very root of what it means to be Christian. Globally, every minute, 24 people are forced to flee their homes, a rate higher than any time in human history, including World War II. Now, it's easy for us to look across the ocean and say the problem's over there, but the truth is we have a refugee crisis right here in our hemisphere. It might surprise many of you to know that the Northern Triangle of Central America, which is made up of the countries of El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, is the most violent region in the world. Only last year, 700,000 people living in this region were displaced from their homes by violence and 17,500 people were killed, a number surpassed only by Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan. For many families, fleeing this violence caused by warring gangs and increasingly by police and military forces, there are very few, if any, protection options. Faced with the threat of extortion, kidnapping, rape, and murder, family businesses close, children leave school, and self-incarcerate in their homes or make the dangerous journey north, Women and children are especially vulnerable, young girls often forced to be the girlfriends of gang members, and El Salvador has the highest rates of child homicide and femicide in the world. When families can't find the protection in their home country, they flee abroad, traveling not only north to the United States, but increasingly to southern countries like Costa Rica and Panama. This situation was brought to my attention last year when I was invited to join the board of directors of a human rights organization called Cristosal, based in El Salvador. Founded in 2000 by the former bishop of the Anglican Church of El Salvador, Cristosal is now one of the leading organizations advocating for the rights of families fleeing violence. In 2012, they became one of the first organizations to develop a documentation and protection program for Salvadorans displaced by violence providing legal and humanitarian assistance. Since then, they have worked tirelessly to strengthen national and regional protection systems, creating real alternatives to irregular migration to the north. At the 78th General Convention last year, the Episcopal Church resolved to support the rights of refugees in Central America. Now it's up to us as individuals, as parishes, as dioceses, and as the church to turn those words into actions. As our presiding bishop urges us, now is the time to embrace the Jesus movement, to love God and to love our neighbor. On September 19th, world leaders will be meeting at the UN General Assembly in New York to address our global refugee crisis. At the same time, I and the other bishop members of our board will be presenting this issue to the House of Bishops, calling for concrete actions in support of our church-wide resolution to support and protect those fleeing violence in Central America. But at the end of the day, true change requires all of us, the many members that make up the body of Christ, the many small actions we take together, drop by drop, create an ocean that truly can turn the tide of injustice. We can pray for those affected by violence, for organizations like Christosol, and for our brothers and sisters in the Diocese of Central America, but our prayers must also lead us to action. And so I also want to urge you to go online and make a gift in support of Christosol's extraordinary work at their website. Your gift goes directly to expand their assistance, research, and advocacy programs, guaranteeing quick and creative responses to this emergency crisis. Be a leader. Share this issue with your community and together Let's educate ourselves and discern what actions we can take to create spaces of welcome and sanctuary. You can see what other individuals and parishes have done and find additional resources again at the Christosol website. Please don't forget that every action, every gift, every prayer makes a difference. May God bless you all.